After taking the heads off and looking at the bores, for the most part, everything looked great, just normal wear, but unfortunately on cylinder 8, we found two big scratches. Usually something like this isn't the end of the world, but this motor has already been bored 60 over, meaning we can't bore out the scratch. Normal, just side to side wear. So here's that scratch, and it's deep enough that you can catch a nail on it. So this block is basically junk. So we hit the road to buy a new motor and picked up an old 454. Since we have to start from scratch, we thought might as well upgrade and get a bigger motor to start with and turn it into a 496 big block. smells. That's what the holes in the pistons, man. What the hell is that shit about? Oh. oh, it's weird. So after getting the heads off, we did some rough measuring to verify that we are starting with the true 454. 4 to 40. 2. After double checking, we are starting with a 454 that has not been bored out before. Yeah, this one had the gas pedal out of it too. Oh, look at that. Ran great! Yeah, that's not good. It ran, that one got to toasted too. Wow. That was really easy. You know, usually I would use a hammer. So after taking the rods and pistons out, the next step is getting that crank out. garbage go through it. The only concerning thing is that the crank had some black slime that almost looked like grease in it but fortunately we're planning on using a new stroker crank in this build. Well, that thing has to be heavy. It is. Some weird looking sludge. That's it's, the same. It's, it's like grease, dude. It's sticky. That's weird. Oh, there's a fancy dent, too. Good thing we're not going to use this crank. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a big paperweight. 
So now we're preparing the block to head to the machine shop to get bored, decked, a line honed, and clearance for the bigger crank. We've got some cool parts showing up, and we are eager to put this thing together. But that's all for now. Let me know in the comments what you think about building this new motor, and thanks for all the support.